White E8. White G8. G for gold. White. Hurry. G for gold. Would you please welcome? This year he made the UK Open and he makes his debut in the World Championship in the biggest stage in dance history. Would you please welcome Ruthless James Richardson! Show me again. Uh huh. I was just making a bit clearer. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. From Van Hague in the Netherlands, <laughs> a member of the winning World Cup of Dance team and the five time champion of the world. Clean-shaven, brand new shirt. It means he's feeling good, and when Barney feels good, you know, I don't think the talent's going to be wasted tonight. As I said at the top of the show. I mean, if you had to do a score prediction, this one, given that James Richardson's making his, his debut here in the World Championship, given the, the presence of Barney, is there any way Richardson can cause an upset? Do you think? I, I don't think so. I mean, James is a great player. He's got a lot to learn on the big stage. He, he could fire into Barney straight away. But I just feel Barney's turning up tonight uh, and then maybe have a clean sweep. 3 0. So look at these first three darts. That'll oh, make him reasonably happy. Yeah, very happy. I mean, they looked really aggressive, nice and tight. Yeah, I mean, that was uh, pretty good. You know, the first time on the big stage to kick off with a ton, you'll be Hang on, there. Rod, hang on. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, let's hand over to commentary John Green and Stuart Pike. Thanks, Dave. Brilliant, brilliant Barney. New shirts, new old darts, more of that in a moment. New Barney, perhaps. Can he do it again on the hockey? What a start, 180. It's going to be a mammoth occasion for James Richardson. I just wonder whether this incredible atmosphere will get the better of him. 
Uh, for Barney, it's all about getting the job done in front of these adoring fans. Yes, I think you're absolutely right there, Stuart, and I think he will. Uh, uh, I, I, I had the pleasure of Barney's uh, company uh, quite a number of times recently on the circuit, and uh, he's been relaxed, he's thrown well, he's set a feel good. And, he, and, and you say about going back to the old new darts, or the new old darts, if you like. Well, uh, he's gone back to them, and, and, and the question immediately, one, which is prompted, is why did you move away from them in the first place? Yep. They served you well in 07. Look at this for double eight, but a brilliant one thirty for the fabulous first leg for Barney. 12 darts, 180 start, 130 finish. And the other 191 in between in his own way. Well, the crowd are going mad. They're going mad Amazing. for Raymond van Barneveld. <laughs> My, he's popular. And despite his lack of success when it comes to, well, to individual major trophies, okay. his popularity is just showing no signs of waning, is it? Absolutely, Stuart. Um, uh, I will leave that in your guys' hand because obviously I'm Saturday quite the, warm already. So an exhibition tournament there taken seriously. The following night he won one in Bridgewater, and and he was really really good. He was really yeah, good. Yeah. And you're happy with that. You're good. He said my darts are going yeah. in nicely, and that is all important, isn't it? This again. He looks smooth. He looks ready. He looks like he's in the mood to entertain. Well, if you're wondering about Barney, and uh, we were saying about the new old darts, uh, I'm lucky there for Thank you, Richard. Richard. Good recovery, Richard. Uh, Barney has So at seven, you're going, you go first to the ball, basically. right? Just give you the front. These are exact replicas of the darts that Barnevel used to beat Taylor okay, okay. in the 2007 Epic World Final. The greatest game will forever be known as the greatest game. And these are the darts, John. Yeah, fabulous, fabulous really stuff, was it really? Five years ago, I don't feel a day older. <laughs> but, but what was interesting is that he talked separately to the likes of Eric Bristow and Ron Harrington and, and Keith Deller and one or two other uh, former pros. And they all said the same thing, but independently of each other. For goodness sake, go back to the darts and won the world title. Because you don't get better than that. Winning a world title. Now then, fraction in, had no problem last time, but this time just dips a little to the right. Gives Richardson half a chance of taking out 74. Treble 14, oh that's careless, 65, now the bullseye, well he ought to have gone for at least an outer tram line double there, and he's got to brush up his accuracy if he's going to live with Barney. And he wasn't going to miss again, was he? But what a moment for James Richardson, and we talked rightly so about Raymond Van Barneveld at the start of this game, because... You know, no matter what, he is a darting, he is a sporting superstar. But James Richardson, 38 in a fortnight, comes from Northamptonshire. As Barney looks at another one. Yeah, Richardson is, well, it, it's still as smooth as silk, isn't it? Still one of the best throws to look at, John. Yeah. Yes, from Northamptonshire, you could say he's a Rushton Diamond. Uh, that's exactly what he is. Is that what he Yes. <laughs> but he's, he's been on the circuit for a year, and to qualify for the World Championship is a dream. And to play in front of over 2,000 people on the biggest stage in World Arts, and the biggest tournament in World Arts, against one of the biggest names in the history of the sport. He throws a mean dart as well. Yeah, could win this leg. Could win this leg. Had his chance in the last one to break back, but made a mess of it, in my opinion. 16. Hitting big nine when he wanted big 14. But one, two, six. He doesn't have to go the 19 route because Barney, would you believe it, is 115 points further back. 86 leaves tops. This could be Richardson's first ever leg 
in World Championship darts. In fact, it's its first appearance on television in any contest. So here he goes. The man they call ruthless gets on the board, and that'll do his confidence the world of good. He looks like a man in a hurry. Everything he does, he looks like a busy player, doesn't he? A busy darts player. Nice done. Could have been more with a little bit of luck. That's got a lovely lie about it. Unlucky there, just too far to the left. But good darts. Well, excellent darts, John. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden... 16. Uh, uh, a little look from Barnevelde of frustration. The crowd have gone quiet. And Richardson here has a little chance. Oh, well, that was unlucky. Could have done without that. <coughs> At least it wasn't in a treble. So, uh, Thank you. Thank you. Let's get And you, you okay? And, uh, a ton 40 here would serve him well. A ton 80. Good evening and welcome to Amateur Dart News <coughs> Online World Out. Masters last game of last 16 between Matt Doe representing Out. United Out. Kingdom and Jorge Gonzalez representing <laughs> Portugal. Come on. This is the last match of the round. Out. And it will start in a minute with winner, Inside. winner playing tomorrow with Andrew Fletcher at the quarterfinals of the World Masters. Okay, next game. Yeah, good time. Matt will start first. 85. Uh, one, uh, 32. Good arts from Jorge, 132. Let's see, can Matt give something in response? 51. 51 for Matt. Oh, I forgot to switch. 77. 77 for Jorge. Well done, Jorge. Sixty. <clears throat> Both Matt and Jorge play on living room darts from the beginnings at the end of the March 2020, since we started with COVID. Pandemic. We are now three months old and gathered almost 900 players from around the world in a different types of competitions. 58. 58 for Matt. Come on, Matt. Final matches are on schedule for tomorrow and Sunday, and it will be played uh, first to nine. We already have some fixtures. Greg Wickers will meet Carlo Kane. Eugene O'Kane will play versus Nick Cook, and Concilio Mifsud will play with Luke Leonard. All of those matches you can watch live on House of Darts channel on YouTube. Subscribe, uh, like, eight, share. Seven.
mostra. Twenty. That was a little bit out of range. 58. 58 for Matt. Meadow also represents British Disability Arts Association. 57. He's one of the top, top ranked players. 137. Yeah, just like I said, 137 for Mad Dog. And I was walking around though, so I couldn't see that. Let's see if Matt can. Oh, sorry. We will leave it for the next round. Because of course Jorge is way behind for now. 31. 31. Let's check. Double eight for Matt. Will it happen? Game in one. Yeah, game in one. Game in one. Once again, that shot. Double eight. First dart. Mad Doe leads two games to nothing. Oh, okay. oh. Oh, oh. Sixty. Sixty for Matt Doe. Let's see, can Jorge finally pull something out of the sleeve? Forty-five. Forty-five, not this time. Okay. Mm, unlucky for that one. One forty. One forty for Matt Doe. Thank 
My camera's still on. Even yours is gone. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It sounded like he was going anyway. But, no I don't know, I think he might have dropped. Because it sounded like his connection was going, to be fair. Hopefully, come back in a minute. Now the bullseye. Well, he ought to have gone for at least an outer tram line double there. And he's got to brush up his accuracy if okay. he's going to live with Barney. Well, he wasn't going to miss again, was he? But what a moment for James Richardson. And we talked rightly so about Raymond Van Barneveld at the start. Okay. Slight internet problems. Yeah. For the no Portugal worries. player, but we are back. Matt, uh, you already put in Naka. Yeah. You're not sure. Yeah. It's sure. a. Uh... Yeah, so it's just why the whole thing. You're in 60, isn't it? Yeah, that's on there. But in my case, Oh, okay. Now easy. Uh, 44. Okay, I'm going to go Eighty-six. Eighty-six for Matt Doe, who is currently averaging over seventy-five with first nine darts over eighty-seven. Great average for Matt Doe. Three. 
Gaming, sorry. Gaming, second dart for 3 0 lead, Mad Doe. Just to remind you, it's first to nine, last, first to seven, last game of the last 16. Amateur Dart News, Online World Masters. Yes, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Twenty-five. 
I put four, but it's forty five. Okay, five hours. Thirty-four. 
gaming suits. Fifty-nine. Fifty-eight. Fifty-four. Will Jorge make a comeback to this match since it's six to zero? We'll see, but he hit a one eighty at this leg, so maybe something happens positive nice. for him. Also tonight. At 9 p.m., Francois Burgraf versus Kerry Sharp, seventh weekly living room darts tournament, second round, first to seven. After that, Concilio Mifsud versus Luke Leonard, quarterfinals of amateur dart news. Online World Masters. Also first to seven. So let's see, can Jorge save he himself? Game in one. Can. Game in Double 14 for 6 to 1. Game on, Jorge starts. Fifty 
81. No, one forty. Game shot for star. Pick it up.
Thank you. I knew why I left. Thirty. Thank you, sir. Hey. Thank you all. Thank you, Jamir. Cheers, Daniel. Cheers. Nice game. Cheers. Thank you. Catch you soon, buddy. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. As he gives one of the greatest names in darts ever. A real test. Barney with darts on 195. Richardson able to take 68 out, possibly to break the throw. Well, absolutely. What a start. One dart. One dart to break Barney. Now, uh, for me, for me, Barnabel has to get this, John. He's got to settle himself down. Otherwise, he could really be in big trouble. Got to get this. Could go to pieces. Now there's a sag, which is a sign, possibly. Especially as Richardson follows a 